today was an incredible day because Godzilla vs. Kong arrived. <music> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Emily. If you're returning, welcome back. Today's video is going to be an honest review of Godzilla vs. Kong, which was released today, March 31st, via HBO Max and also in theaters. Before we get into the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button. That way you'll be notified of all the future videos here at EP Life. And without further ado, let's get in. So before I get into this honest review, I cannot emphasize enough Disclaimer alert, spoiler alert. If you guys do not want any scenes spoiled, any story spoiled, anything spoiled about this movie, go ahead and pause this video. Catch Godzilla vs. Kong on HBO Max or in theaters. Go ahead and come back and let's discuss. You have been warned. Okay, Godzilla vs. Kong takes place, starts. Godzilla's wreaking havoc, we don't know why. Godzilla is usually this happy medium between pleasure and pain, right? Keeps things copacetic. You don't bother him, he doesn't bother you. Plain and simple. However, he is havocing the world, don't know why. Blowing, stomping, stepping, hitting, don't know why. We go ahead and we start the movie. We see Kong. He's in this ambiance, nice island-filled skull island. He has his little friend Gia, which is the only human that king kong vibes with and they're happy happy until you find out that he is like in this simulated stadium setting where he's being kept that looks like skull island but it actually is not now going into this movie i had not seen kong versus uh kong skull island i have not seen the original well i saw it but it was a really long time ago the original godzilla but i did see king of monsters in theaters in 2019 so in terms of backstory i went into this with minimal now what I admire about this movie is fight scenes, incredible, futuristic looking, a little more sci-fi than I expected, but it was very pleasing to the eye. I enjoyed every minute of this movie. Again, you have been warned, warned, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Now, there is this energy in Hollow Earth that needs to be found to help apex the company now we have nathan whose brother tried to get the energy in the past however passed away in the process of the journey so he wants to go ahead and take it on with gia and her guardian i would say because not her mother eileen now they're going ahead with kong to try to find the energy so what i admire about this movie is the fact that there were scenes that kong and godzilla were not fighting and i know that sounds crazy but in a movie like this where you're expecting them to fight 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 how long are you going to make a movie of just them clashing the entire movie it's not possible of course there needs to be some timeouts some half times you know some round one round two breaks intermissions etc and that's exactly what this movie gives what i admire is Kong has his own journey and his own purpose. Godzilla has his. And then again, the fight scenes. Another thing I admire about this movie is apart from Gia, who I should say plays an epic role in this movie. I love her character. I love the fact that she can sign and she could communicate. And she shows that because she can't hear, she has other means of finding out when things are wrong. You know, she touches walls. She touches the floor. She has such an important part in this movie and again spoilers but i don't want to spoil too much she's just important but what i admire is apart from her character all the humans in this movie have a purpose there's no human in this movie that's just like okay so we're just gonna cut to him and he's not important nothing like that it is strictly okay this is a human in the movie this is who they are this is why they're here let's continue that is all it is. There's no cheesy side romance or affair. There's no um, weird conflict that doesn't fit into the movie. Everything clicks. Everything works. I feel like it was just long enough. The movie is a total of an hour and 53 minutes. Uh, again, spoilers, you've been warned. There is no post-credit scene. You know, we live in a 
Marvel World that you always check for one now, but there isn't one. Unfortunately, I waited to the end to see. I watched this guy at home. I really wish that I would have had the opportunity to watch it on an IMAX screen because I cannot emphasize enough, guys, those fight scenes were incredible. Like, this is a monster movie that, yes, we had Godzilla King of Monsters two years ago. Not complaining. Pretty good movie. But I just feel like when I was watching this, I it felt like a breath of fresh air. I was There was never a lull when I looked at my phone, check on Instagram because I was bored. Never that. It was not short, but it wasn't long. It was wordy, but not too wordy. There are definitely scenes that you think you know something's going to happen, but it actually does not. You're supposed to go right, totally goes left. There are some secrets about Kong that you find out. There are secrets about Godzilla that you find out. And everything clicks. I am very surprised. I felt that this movie was going to be good, but it actually ended up being great. I'm going to go ahead and give Godzilla vs. Kong a 9 out of 10. And again preference if you're the type of person that's going to go into this movie looking for an origin story this is not the movie for you go ahead and see the original godzilla and go see kong skull island which by the way both are on hbo max if you're a member or you can have a seven day free trial i know this video is not sponsored or <laughs> you could go in like i went in and just saw godzilla king of monsters and go in blind all in all it's a fun ride that is my honest review of godzilla versus kong guys Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to drop in the comments below. What did you guys think? Was it worth it? Was it not worth it? Did you enjoy it? Do you want your money back? Are you hoping for another movie? Go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments below and we will discuss. Again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That way you'll be notified of all the future videos here at EP Life, including lifestyle vlogs and honest reviews and unboxings. And I'll see you guys next time.